going south till we got to till we got to this this like this gate and we went up this hill. When you got to a gate, what kind of a gate was that? It was like a black gate where it had grass inside. It was like a big black gate going around with grass inside of it. Do you have any idea where, what street that's near? I think it was 150 or something. I'm sure. Was the gate open? It was closed. Before you went into the park that night, did you have any uh, crack to smoke? No, I don't, I don't take drugs. Okay, so you didn't do any drugs? No, I don't do you, drugs. Did you drink? No, I don't drink either. So you were pretty clear-headed when you went to the park that night? Yeah. What time was it? It was about, it was about 9 o'clock when we were inside the park. Okay, what happened when you got to the gate? There was this man there, and the, you know, everybody was going to beat up the man. But somebody yelled out, you know, they knew him, so nobody messed with him. Okay, well, what did this man look like? Was he a, a jogger? Was he... Uh, nah, he was just walking through the park. Where we can nicely make. dressed? No. Nah. Was he a bum? No. Nah. Okay, so somebody said... Okay, we're having a little bit of noise outside. It's hard to hear. Uh, I'm just going to step outside and tell him to keep it down. I'm sorry, there's some people outside. It's a little bit difficult to hear, but they're going to keep it down there. You said that you had seen somebody. Did you say he was a Puerto Rican guy? Yeah. And somebody said that they knew him? Mm -hmm. Who was it who said that they knew him? I, I don't see him. I just heard it. Right. When, when you saw him, what were you all going to do to him? They was going to beat him up and rob him. Okay. And somebody said, I know that guy, don't do it? Yeah. So what happened? They let him go. Had they already grabbed him? No. Nah, they let him so go I, by? Yeah. Okay. What happened then? And then as we was going west up this hill, we went around into a man in the lake. And they was going to beat the man up. And somebody came out and said he was with his girlfriend, so let him know. Was the, were those people, did they have a bicycle? No. They were walking on foot. What did you do to those people? Nothing. Let them move on. Okay, but when you first saw them, what were you going to do to them? They was going to beat the man up. They thought he was by himself until they seen him with a date. So they let him go. Did somebody say that they knew him or they just let him go? Nah, somebody just said, look, he's with his girl. And let him go. And then what happened? Then as we got to the road, that's when the police car came. Just patrolling through. And everybody got panicky and everybody split up, man. They ran separate ways. Everybody split up or you split up back into the two groups you've been in? No, nah, everybody split up separately. Was that a, a well, marked car? Huh? Well, mostly everybody ran one way and certain people ran another way. Where did you run? I ran with Mark and Michael and Jason. We ran into the bushes. It was just the four of you, or were there more yeah, people? Yeah, it was just the four of us. The other kids had already left. Okay. Was this a, a marked radio car that went by? A blue and white? Yeah. And then, what did you do after the car went by? Well, they were going to leave. But I told them, instead of us leaving, why don't we just get everybody and leave? So we came back inside the park. And it was these other kids, but they had left. So as we came to the baseball field, because we was looking for them for a while, I seen, from what I seen, it like they were beating somebody up. Only at the other end of the baseball field. Okay, let's slow down for a second. Um, there were four of you after the police car had gone by. Yeah. Now you said instead of leaving the park, you decided to find the other people. Yeah. So the four of you went off to look for the other people, and where did you where did you go when you went to look for them? We went straight to the base. We, first we couldn't find nobody, so we went towards the baseball field. And as we looked, we could see like it looked like people was fighting and stuff. So as we started calling out. They, they heard us, and they ran over there, and then they were talking about how they beat this man up. Okay. They heard you calling, and you ran over to them, or they ran they over to you? ran over to us. Okay. Did you see what they'd been doing over there? No. I can not It just, it seemed like, like they was fighting the same, because everybody was scattered around, running around from a little spot that I seen. And what, uh, you said they left where they were, and they ran over to where you were? Yeah. And and how many started, people were there that ran over to where you were? It was like a good 20, 25, 26 people. Okay, who was in that group that you knew? Terrence Campbell was in the group. Ronnie Smith, Joe Mo Smith, um, a kid named Doug, a kid named Tony. Who 
Yes, Kevin. Kevin was in the group. Kevin Richardson? Antoine was in the group. His cousin. Was there somebody Charles. named Orlando there that night? Yeah. Where was he? Was he with you or was he with the other group? He was with our group. What's Orlando's last name? I don't know the last name. <laughs> was there somebody there who had a bunch of gold caps on their teeth? Yeah, a kid named Jermaine had two gold, gold caps on his mouth. What's his name? Jermaine. Jermaine? Yeah. What's his last name? I don't know his last name. Do you know where he lives? Do you know where he goes to school? When the people came over to where you were on the baseball field, what happened? Then they were talking about they beat this man and they left out cold. So, as we was leaving off the baseball field, they said, you see the police car coming. And they thought, you know, they said the police was going towards the spot where, you know, they had beat that man. So they all ran towards the police. And we stood there for about five or ten minutes. And that's when we were headed towards the reservoir. Okay. Who went toward the reservoir? Everybody. Everybody that was there. And did you have to cross over uh, any roads to get there? Yeah, highway. The highway. Was there traffic on the highway? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything to the traffic? Mm -hmm. Anybody throw any bottles or rocks at the cars? What happened Stop when you got to when the cars, you know, when there wasn't no cars, everybody ran by. Okay, and now you're talking about the road that goes from the west side to the east side, the transverse? I don't think so, I'm not too sure, I know it's a highway. Was there a lot of traffic on it? No. Okay, was it the roadway in the park? Uh, I'm not too sure, I just know we crossed. I'm sorry? I'm not too sure, I just know we crossed. Okay, so you waited and when there was no traffic, then you yeah. ran across the road. Did you have to go down a hill to get to the road? Or down a wall or down yeah, a hill? Yeah, like a, like a wall. You had to go down a wall and then go across a road and then up another, another wall. wall? Okay, so all of you went across the road that way. And when you got to the other side, you saw the reservoir? Okay, what did you see when you got to the reservoir? I see joggers, people running by. Mm -hmm. How many people were there in your group at that point? At that point, it was like 25 people. And what happened at that, then? And that's when the first jogger came out. And everybody was like, get him, get him. And Jermaine gave two gold fronts. He tried to grab the jogger, but he missed. And some other tall kid, too, that he tried to grab the jogger, but he missed. You know? So the first jogger, let's, let's try and do it slow. The first jogger, everybody says, let's grab him. Yeah. Why? To rob him? Yeah. Beat him up? Mm hmm So when he runs by... Jermaine's, Jermaine starts to run after him. What about everybody else? Everybody tried to run too, but you know, he was, Jermaine was ahead, so Jermaine tried to swing at him, but he missed. And then the other kid tried to grab him, but the other kid missed too. Which was the other kid? I don't know his name. He was just some tall kid, had white clothes on. Black? Hispanic? Yeah. He's black? black. Do you remember what he was wearing? He had like a, a white, white jeans, with a white jean jacket. Okay, and you said he has a flat top? Yeah. So he tried to get him too, but the jogger got away. Yeah. Now, at the reservoir, was this right on the path right next to the water? Yeah. Were there lights on? Mm -hmm. What happened after the second guy gets away? Um, after the second guy got away? Mm -hmm. Then the third guy came. And then I... Was he a jogger too? Yeah. And he was, was he on that path too? Yeah, he was jogging real slow. So everybody was looking at him. And he was jogging too slow. So everybody was saying he might be a cop. You don't know. So as he was walking away, he's still going. And that's when Jermaine ran behind him. And everybody walked away, everybody turned around. Jermaine picked him up and threw the kill, threw the man on the floor, started beating him up. Okay. When Jermaine beat him up, did he beat him with uh, a weapon or uh, his hands. with his hands? How was he beating him? Like punching him. In, in the face? Yeah. You punch him a lot of times? Yeah, punch him a lot. And when this guy was approaching where you were, as he was getting closer, were you all hiding behind bushes and trees? Yeah. Sort of like in ambush? I'm sorry? Yes. So when Jermaine got him and started punching him, what did you all do? Everybody turned around. You know, everybody noticed he wasn't a cop, so everybody got down and started beating him up. Did you start beating him up too? Yeah. Did you punch him? Yeah. Did you kick him? No, I just punched him. You punched him in the face? Yeah. Hard? Yeah. A lot of times? Yeah. A couple of times? Not uh, even. Hmm? Not just a few times? Like once or twice. And everybody was punching him and kicking him? Mm -hmm. 
Did anybody have a weapon? Well, one that kid that had the white on, he had a knife. He, what he, kind of a knife did he have? Some kind of a knife. Some, 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 some knife what did it look like? I only seen the hand. It was like a brown hand. Okay, you're going like this. Was it a round handle? Did it have a curve in it, or was it just a straight handle? Like a straight handle. He didn't pull it out then? No. As you guys were, uh, as you were punching him, and the other people were punching him too, were people kicking him? Yeah. Did anybody take anything from him? No. Did you ask him for money? I think they did. Did he give you any money? No. Did anybody take any jewelry from him? How long did you uh, punch and kick him? I only used it for a while. For a while? Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Then everybody, my friend Terry started saying for everybody to leave him Why was he saying that? Because he was, he was tired of everybody beating on the man. And well, did, did the man stop moving? No, he, he was still moving. So everybody stopped. Everybody walking away and Jermaine was like, nah, nah, nah. You ripped my coat, you ripped my coat. So Jermaine didn't know how to stop, kept beating the man, kept beating him. So everybody pulled him away, everybody said, stop, chill out, man. So as he was walking off... Why were you pulling him away? Because he was trying, I guess he was trying to murder the man. He kept hitting him, didn't want to stop. Mm -hmm. Kept hitting the man. So you took Jermaine, the group took Jermaine yeah, away? Yeah, pulled him away. And as we pulled him away, he, he ran back and hit the man a couple of more times. And then, then Did anybody got, else run back with him and hit him? Nah, just him. Okay, and then he walked away and man was getting up. He was getting up? Mm-hmm. Like, Did anybody hit him with a pipe or a stick? Yeah. Who hit him with a pipe? That's one hit him with a pipe. What kind of a pipe was it? Like this long. Was there any tape on the pipe? Where did the pipe come from? I don't know. I guess he found it in the park. Do you know whether he had it when he came into the park? No, nah, he didn't. You, you know that he didn't have it? You could tell because he had it in his hand when he came to the park. Or he didn't have a jacket. All he had on was a sweater. He had a sweater on. A sweater or a sweatshirt? A sweater with a hood. So, you know, Made out of the same material that your shirt is now? That kind of sweater? I don't know. Maybe something like this. Yeah, but it had a hood. But it had a hood. Where did he hit him with the pipe? All over his head, his back. Any way he could hit him. <laughs> did anybody else have a stick or a pipe? I don't know, I've seen that pipe. That's the only one that you saw? After you left that man, where did you go? Everybody was heading to go to the west side. Away from the reservoir? Mm-hmm. Where'd you go? And as we were headed to the west side, that's where I seen Kevin. That's where you saw Kevin? Was anybody with Kevin? Yeah, maybe. Who was A with lady. Kevin? Some lady. A lady? Mm -hmm. How was she dressed? I can't tell. It was too dark. What was he doing with her? Struggling with her. Where was this? It was, it was like when you go down this hill. Before you even get to the road. Before you even get to the road. You know, it was like right about there. Like, two trees. Are you talking when you say road? Are you talking about there's a the asphalt path that goes through the park? You don't really see cars on that. Or do you see cars on that? Do you know where I'm... I'm talking about the road that has cars on it. Okay. And you saw him standing near that? Yeah. Struggling, struggling with, with him? the lady. Okay. What did you actually see him doing with him? Like, he had about a, a wrist. He was struggling. So he put his leg out and he tripped over his leg. Was there anybody with Kevin? Mm-hmm. Who? Steven. It was Steven. Is that Kevin. Steve Lopez? Yeah. Kevin. Richardson? Um... Antoine and myself. What about uh, Clarence Thomas? I see him. What about Lamont McCall? I see him. So was that the full list of people who were there? You and Some Kevin? I seen us four. You and Kevin, Anton, mm -hmm. and, and Lopez. And Lopez, Steve Lopez. What were the others doing while Kevin was? struggling with her with the wrists. Anton was going for her clothes and no pesters going in her arms. What was Anton doing to her clothes? Trying to pull them off. What was she wearing? I don't know. Were you getting closer? Yeah. You walked toward them? Mm-hmm. What did you see Anton doing to her? Just 
pulling him off. And Kevin was pulling down his pants. But Lopez, Lopez is smacking the lady in the face. Was she screaming? She was just hollering like, help, help. And she was smacking her. You said that Kevin knocked her to the ground? He tripped her? Yeah. What happened to her when she was on the ground? Uh, Lopez came and he was holding her by her arms. He pinched her arms with his knees. And then he covered her mouth with his hand. And then like, she was still screaming, so he started smacking her. What did he smack her with? His hand. Where did he smack her? In the face. Smacked her in the face. Was he, where was he in, in relation to her body? She was lying on the ground. Like this. And he was behind her head? Yeah. And he was holding her hands? You said that he was kneeling on her arms? Yeah, on her arms. And what was he doing with his hands? He was covering her mouth. But every time she was told, he was smacking. He said, shut up, bitch. He kept smacking. How many times did he smack her? I think twice, three times. And did she keep screaming? Mm-hmm. And he just kept smacking. Did somebody stuff something in her mouth? No, he picked up the brick and he hit her with the brick twice. Where did he hit her with the brick? Around her face, like around her or somewhere up here. After he hit her in the head with the brick, did she stop screaming? Yeah, she was like shocked. When you say she was shocked, what did you see? She just, she just did this. She didn't do nothing. Did she stop moving? Mm-hmm. She just stood there. And he was... Well, you say she just stood there. Was she lying down or standing up? Lying down. After he hit her in the head with the brick, did you see if her eyes were open? No, I see. Hmm? I see. What was Kevin doing while um, Steve Lopez was holding her hands and hitting her with the brick? He was having sex with her. What did you see him doing? Was he on top of her? Mm-hmm. You have to answer out loud and say yes or no. Yes. And did you see whether his pants were on? They were off. Did you take them all the way off or just take them down or just open this one? Down. How far down did he pull them? About a little past the knees. And did he say anything while he was on top of her? No, he was just having sex with her. What did he do? When, did he get on top of her? Yeah, he was. And at the point that he got on top of her, did she have any clothes on? No. Where were her legs? Like wrapped around. Wrapped around him? Like, you know, behind. Behind him? <laughs> were her legs open and apart? Yeah. Was anybody holding her feet? I don't know. I just know Anton was behind Kevin. Could you see what he was doing? Mm -hmm. Where were you standing? I was on the side of Kevin. Were you watching? No, I was grabbing the eight tickets. Were you standing up or kneeling or sitting down beside I was you? kneeling. You were leaning over? I was on my knee. Was her shirt on? No. Did you know where her shirt was? No. Do you know where her bra was? No. So while Kevin was on top of her, was he laying on top of her? Mm-hmm. And while he was doing that, you were feeling her breasts with both hands? How long did you do that? I don't know if I don't know. Hmm? I don't know if I don't know. I don't even know if I don't know if was there. And you did that while Kevin was having intercourse with her? Did Kevin say anything while he was on top of her? You have to answer out loud. No. Was Anton saying anything? No. Did Steve Lopez say anything? No, all he was saying was shut up, bitch. And he smacked him. After Kevin finished, what happened? I had left. I had left out the park. Did you see anybody else get on top of her? No. You were next to her and you had your hands on her breasts. What happened that made you leave? I don't know. I just left. Well, why'd you leave? I don't know. Did you go with anybody? No, I just came out the park and all the other friends were leaving. They was going another way down the block. None of the people in the group with this lady were leaving at that point, right? No, it was... After I left, and I, like, after I was getting told my friends, they had came out the park. Did you leave the Raymond, let me just ask you. I, my experience is that when people do things, they do things for a reason. People don't just do things for no reason. What was it that happened that made you decide to leave? Something told me to leave, so I left. Who told you to leave? My conscience told me to leave. That's what told me to leave. So you're feeling her breasts. Kevin's having intercourse with her. Did you say anything? You just got up and left? Yep. 
Did anybody there take anything from her? Not that I know of. Did she have any jewelry on? I don't know. I think so. Did anybody take any money from her? Not that I know of. Did anybody tie her up? Not that I know of. Did anybody move her body? Not that I know of. Just when she went to the floor. Pardon me? Just when she went to the floor. When you left, she was in the same place where she had been knocked down? Yeah. After you left, where did you go? I went down a block to find the rest of the friends. Who were you looking for? Michael and... Michael and who else? Michael, Terrence, um, Jason, Ramsey, Doug, Tony, Joe Moore, people that I came with. Did you find them? Yeah. Where'd you find them? I found them before, like, like up the block, going towards Columbus. And this is, and then that's why Ants one of them came up and he ran up with us. <laughs> Where did you go after you found them? He we went towards Columbus, and that's when he started breaking the light bulbs by his building. Who was breaking light bulbs? Antoine was. How was he breaking it? With a pipe? Yeah, he was jumping up and smacking the light bulbs. And the security guard started chasing him. Chasing him or all of you? All of them. Because <laughs> I was in back of the security guard when I walked past him. I was in the back, and they was up front, way up front, and they was breaking the light bulbs, but he didn't think it was us. He just knew it was them, so he chased them on. Okay, where did you go? They ran around the corner. That's when they was on Columbus. So when we got to Columbus, Terrence, Ramsey, and Jason got in the cab and they left. I know it was somebody else. But I didn't see who it was. So we came back down. And as we came we came back down to on the west side of Central Park. We came back down that way. So we was going uptown, back uptown, uh, to our block. So as we were going back up to our block, I was up front. Steve was like a half a block behind me. And the kids was like, Mike and Orland was like a block behind him. So he was walking, the cops came, and he just pulled up on us. And he told me, against, yeah, I guess you want, I got against the wall. And he grabbed Steve. Then the, the other cop turned around, everybody started running. He's like, yeah, run if y'all can, run if y'all can. So he just started chasing him. And that's when he went to the court. Did you tell the police at first that you weren't with these people? Yeah. But that wasn't true. What were you wearing that night? What I got on that. Yeah, but what is that? A sort of a blue sweatshirt or mm -hmm. and blue jeans? Yeah. And what shoes do you have on? Blue, blue, black and white sneakers. Okay, well, what kind of sneakers are they? Three boxes. And those are the sneakers that, and the shoes, I mean, the, excuse me, the sneakers and the pants and the shirt that you had on? What time was it when, uh, when you got stopped by the police? It was like, it was like going on 11, because I mean, when we got to the station, we got to the precinct, it was 11 o'clock. Did you talk to anybody about what happened with this woman, no. any of the guys that night? No. When you ran up, and when you ran into them, did you tell any of them what had happened? No. Did anybody say anything to you about it? tonight when you spoke to uh, Detective Sheehan and Detective Arroyo, uh, your father was present? Yes. What happened to the pipe that you had that night? Not the pipe that I had, the pipe that Antoine had. I meant you, group that Antoine McRae had. Do you know well, what happened to it? They had the pipe. And he had gave it to Tony. So Tony had the pipe. And we was on Columbus, and I think he had got the pipe back. So Tony was talking to some kids across the street. So he took the pipe. He said, I, I don't want this pipe. So he put it on the corner of Columbus by this fence. So when we went to date, to see if it was still there, it wasn't there. Okay, when you went to the, um, you said you went today to look to see if it was still there? Who did you go with? Detective Sheehan? Yes. And you looked and the pipe wasn't there anymore? It wasn't there. <laughs> and it's the same spot. But they didn't put it in last night. When this woman was first grabbed, you said you first saw her, Kevin Richardson was holding her wrists. 
was he saying anything to her? He was just, just trying to put her. I didn't hear him saying that. I just seen him struggling. When she got knocked down, and you said that uh, Steve Lopez hit her in the head with, with the brick, was she bleeding? I think so, yeah. Was she bleeding a lot? No. No? Who else had sex with her besides Kevin Richardson? I didn't see anybody else who had sex with just him. Did you see him? You said that he uh, had sex with her. He got on top of her and his pants were down. Mm -hmm. And her legs were spread at that time. Mm -hmm. And did he penetrate her? Did he put his penis inside of her? Mm -hmm. Did he say that he had? Excuse me? Did he say that he had? I didn't mean, see But you could tell? Yeah. How could you tell? Because he was having sex with her. That's what she was supposed to do. You know what well, when he was doing that, was he moving up and down? Yeah, because I've seen it. And so you could see that he was moving, yeah. thrusting up and down, yeah. thrusting into her? That's how I knew he was having sex with her. And when he was on top of her, how were you able to put your hands on her breast? He wasn't fully on top of her. He was just, he had his arms up like this. Could you see where he was inside of her? Yes. And when he uh, withdrew from her, could you see his penis? No, I didn't bother to look at his penis. Well, he did he have an erection? Uh, well, when he was inside of her, you could tell that he had actually penetrated her and that he was inside of her? Yeah. Yeah? <coughs> Did he ever touch her breasts? Uh, I think so, yes. You think so, yes, but you're not sure? Well, I know he was doing something to her. What did he you say? He was feeling her up. He was feeling her up? Did you ever see him have... Uh, Anal intercourse with her. Did you ever see him put his penis anywhere else? Did he put his penis in her mouth? How long was he inside of her and on top of her? For like five minutes. Five minutes. And during that time, you were touching her breasts. Yes. Earlier, you said there was a man who was beat up. Did somebody hit him with a brick? Yeah. Who was that? That's all, okay. kid. A tall kid, yeah. black kid or Spanish kid? Or? Black kid that had the white, the white jean jacket and the white jean pants. Is that the one with the gold? No. Sorry, okay. Jermaine is the one with the gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he had a headset? Yeah. Did anybody take that? No, it was on the floor. It was on the ground? Is that the guy that they were beating up um, when the group ran over to join you? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is like, uh, no, it wasn't him. Which one was it? The, this was the man, the third man that came by was That jogging. was the jogger? Yeah. And the headset was on the floor, but nobody picked it up because it, it was a radio. You know, nobody wanted radio headset, everybody wanted a set. It was just a radio, so nobody ever picked it up. When you went into the park that night, why did you go into the park? Well, I thought we were going to beat people up and take bikes, schools, and get money. You went in to beat people up, to take bikes, and... And rob people, get and, money. Okay, and you were going with your friends for that purpose? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have nothing further. It's now five minutes of three. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.